for the final exam. Okay. For the notebook, you're really free to choose and do whatever you want. You can also just write or you can also just draw, you can just do collage, you can paint, you can, I don't know. Hi Diego. Hello. Hi Diego. Ciao. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Aspetta, eh, dobbiamo alzare tutti i volumi qua al massimo. Ok. Uno è qua. Bene. Però forte e chiaro. Bene. Perfetto. Ottimo. Bene, è un piacere. Grazie, infatti. Spero di conoscerti e grazie per la partecipazione. Mi fa piacere, mi fa piacere. Ok, uh, dico due parole velocissime di introduzione e poi ti, lascio, ti lasciamo la, il, il palco. Sì, va bene. Ok, grazie. perfetto. Ok, uh, very, very quickly, first of all, thank you uh, Diego Terna by uh, Quincy Terna Architecture for uh, being with us today. We are just a second, I'm meeting people that are connected. Um, Quincy Turner Architecture is an architecture studio based in Milan. They found the studio in 2012. It was found by architect Chiara Quincy and Diego Terna. Uh, the studio is involved in practical construction and didactic academical research, theoretical research. They investigate through all the scales from the smallest one to the uh, urban scale. Um, they had private commission, but at the same time, they are involved in uh, architecture competitions uh, that are, as we already saw, an opportunity also for emerging practice. They obtain a lot of awards and prizes, uh, for example, in Finland, Bulgaria, Russia, Italy too, of course. Um, I would like to mention two uh, particular research and uh, practical investigation at the same time, uh, back to housing, a cooperative in the city, uh, and uh, more recently, uh, maybe public spaces of Milan that was called by Triennale, if I'm not, if I'm not wrong, that investigate uh, the public spaces in the city, uh, in the city of Milan. So um, today, uh, Diego Terna is with us, architect Diego Terna is with us, and the studio, as I already told you, is founded by also um, Chiara Quincy. And uh, I would like to give the word to, to Diego and also thank you again for being here with us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So good, uh, good afternoon, good evening to everybody. It's real a pleasure to be there. Uh, it's a pity that I cannot be there uh, physically, but uh, okay, this is a starting point. So uh, we can also chat by uh, an online meeting. Um, so uh, it's really nice uh, to be here and I would like to show you some uh, reflection, some uh, works, uh, some thoughts uh, about uh, architecture and, and about our uh, work. Uh, sorry for my English, that is quite funny, but uh, I hope you can understand everything. If you don't understand or you want to, to ask me something, uh, we can stop and we can uh, chat. Uh, we can have some discussion, uh, uh, question and answer, so no problem. Uh, I will start showing uh, you a brief presentation. Uh, I try to share my screen. Okay, I think that you can see. 
and that is the can you see it yeah yes. yeah yeah it's working okay. i'm going to switch off our microphone and uh, and cam but we are here yes yes okay super nice so uh some some thoughts uh about uh, uh our uh, work um we i start with some some things that uh, uh, are quite interesting maybe for us maybe they can be interesting also for you uh, this picture and the, the next uh, uh, picture that i show you are strange images um, that uh, an artist a photographer jason schurman uh, made a few years ago um, taking photos of uh, uh, movies um switching on the camera uh, for the entire duration of the of the moving uh, so he take he opened the lens of the of the camera and uh, he wait uh, two hours the, or, or more um to switch off the the, the camera and that are uh, the, the, these these pictures are the results of this uh, overexposition of, of the camera uh, so the entire uh, movie is uh, one picture uh, this is uh, 2001 uh, Space Odyssey. That is the, the agony and the ecstasy. Uh, and that is uh, the Sleeping Beauty. The, the first uh, picture that I show you here, that is uh, fantastic, is The Wizard of Oz, uh, 1939. So if you see, you can, you can find something um, the action of this moving are like blurred in this uh, in this picture, um, but uh, in a way you can figure out something. Uh, something happened there, and this is a field that, that is a uh, just a position of action that in a way can uh, give us some hints uh, of what architecture can uh, can be or what he, what can be a um, goal of. Uh, architecture and yeah for sure i was thinking of so uh, some work of a fantastic artist that is uh, gerard richter uh, with his uh, abstract painting uh, on the same level of this just a position of action i was seeing also the work of another artist that is uh, uh, xavi bow um, that take picture uh, of uh, the flight of the birds uh, in, the, in the skies uh, with another technique. Uh, he filmed the, the, the bird and then chose some uh, um, picture, uh, a lot of picture uh, in the in this um, in this movie, and then made a sort of uh, photoshopped image of uh, the trajectory of the of the bird while it was flying. And uh, you can see there is uh, an, an open no, of movement. There is uh, um, something that gives us a sort of dynamic action with, within a field that is, this, uh, that is this picture. And in a way, I was thinking that maybe this kind of picture was resembling, above all, this, this uh, ukiyo-e picture um, that was a drawing um by japanese artists uh, that use this uh, technique of uh, uh just a position of um drawings uh, to make this uh, sensation of uh, movement um and another artist that maybe can be interesting is uh, this pelecas that uh, took picture of uh, action within uh, uh, sport fields uh, and here is uh, a lot of pictures that then are uh, photoshopped uh, in order to, to have all the actions that was taken uh, within the, 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 this uh, uh, peculiar field, the, the, the tennis, but also the, the, the hockey uh, or uh, in, in a lake. And um, this picture is, is really interesting because uh, this is a, a public space, a river, probably a lake. And uh, we can see the use of this uh, this element by the let's say the inhabitants of the, the, the humans that live probably there or that uh, can came here to make some uh, sport canyon and so on. Um, so again, uh, we are seeing this uh, just a position of uh, movements and flows uh, 
that can really give us uh, the hint of uh, um, an architectural field that this is a space that is a public space in which that has a sense uh, also thanks to the human action also this picture is quite uh, amazing and uh, while i was seeing this picture i was uh, thinking of two video of, uh, of uh, two famous songs uh, this is a video by Michel Gondry uh, of the song by the Chemical Brother Let Forever Be 1999 19, 99. Um, that uh, in a way was uh, giving us this uh, uh, element of surprise of uh, um, function movement flows and action uh, within a very synthetic uh, uh, time uh, that um, permits to uh, extend the boundary of what uh, uh, the place and so the architecture and space is. And in other videos, uh, it, it was this, uh, it's another fantastic video by Garth Jennings uh, of uh, REM, Imitation of Life, 2001, um, in which uh, uh, the, the director of film only 20 seconds of, uh, of this peculiar scene and then makes zooms uh, and uh, different time um, and direction of time to, to, to film the entire duration, duration of, the, of the songs. And so again, what uh, I think it's very important when we are uh, designing uh, some something and when we are designing architecture let's say is to think that maybe i don't have a i'm i'm not sure but maybe maybe architecture is a sort of field and it is a field that permits uh human action and it's filled with human action um and to be more precise probably uh it is uh, the space uh, between the human actions or this is the background of the human action i was thinking this again seeing these uh, peculiar kind of drawings of the 18th centuries in japan that are called uh, so if there is someone from japan i'm sorry um so these uh, uh, Jen Sushi in, in Edo was um, uh, picturing uh, the movement of the, the, the person. And as you can see, there is something in the background that probably it is uh, the, the, the architecture, but uh, it is blurred. It's in the background, it's quite hard because uh, what is giving sense to this scene is uh, these. Uh, peculiar movement of the people, the position of, uh, of the persons, the, the action that was uh, they are taking uh, place within this, uh, uh, this space. So architecture is um, something that is uh, um, between uh, giving possibilities and uh, giving space and room to, to, these, to these possibilities. Then, for sure, we from from Japan we go to Italy, and uh, we can see another kind of scenes, but in a way that can uh, give us some uh, elements to to design the spaces. This is a fantastic public space. It's the sea. That is a, an amazing public space. Uh, again, the action of the people, such as going in the water putting a table putting some chairs and staying there to have a lunch uh, have, a, have a dinner um, can uh, uh, really give us a, a, more, a more deep sense of uh, space in this uh, place that is the public space uh, and this again another kind of uh, situation that are situation really nice because they are a bit unexpected but they are completely design uh, people here um, exploit the possibility of this place uh, water is cool yeah, uh, outside is warm probably is hot so what can we do well exploiting the, the the coolness of the water so we go there with our table playing cards putting our uh, umbrellas here uh, and, uh, and this 
that is the public space, that is architecture, that is a, um, a modification of the space in order to, to host the, uh, the, the human action. Now, public space is also something in between, uh, in between action. No? During the, the pandemic, uh, probably you remember that we were obliged to be at home, but okay, our relation between uh, person was uh, important. So uh, the distance between uh, people were uh, in a way um, destroyed by the possibility of, of encounter, no? Uh, a coffee uh, between uh, the, the, the two facades of the, of, uh, the building. Um, so human action are giving senses to, 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 the, to the places um, and uh, the distance between person, uh, the relation, uh, between two between people are, um, uh, is uh, what architecture should should be so the the, the place between this uh, this relation uh, of people and uh, buildings and, uh, and spaces no, uh, during the pandemic we remember that the space between people between persons were really important not the, the COVID distance guide in this case uh, was really really nice it was really uh, important uh, giving uh, to, to, to some paradox in which uh, Valdo is quite easy to be, to be uh, found so probably when we are designing architecture we are trying to create the uh, unexpected relations as, as I told you, between uh, people, between people and uh, buildings, between environments, uh, uh, nature, uh, animals, uh, um, and, uh, and persons. I would like to show you this, that is quite a nice example of uh, an architecture field. Let's see if it's working. But just give me a second. Oh, okay. Probably have to make this. I'm sorry for the music, but I found all only this uh, video. It's not very long, so we can see. Okay, um, so it's uh, it's something that is quite interesting. Uh, this is a, an action of the uh, football uh, team Spain versus Scotland uh, during the qualification for Euro 2012, if I remember well. Uh, but the, the, the important things of this action that here you can find this diagram that we, we made uh, taking a look of all, all the movement is that uh, uh, all the 11 players of the of the Spain uh, uh, of Spain uh, was touching the, the, the ball at least one time also the uh, the goalkeeper 
and um, you can see that uh, there is a field that there are rules but the way in which you can use the field and the, the rules are completely completely out of uh, uh, the design part of the field itself so given uh, a field uh, you can do whatever you want also mm -hmm. fantastic actions such as these of the of the spain uh, of spain and um, so what uh, we are expecting to do when we are designing some uh, space is uh, giving the, the the flexibility and the possibility uh, for the for the user to 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 use uh, the, the space in uh, unexpected ways that is i think the, the most important uh, things and uh, if we can deal for example with our environment such as the nature but uh, also some urban environment we can really create uh, uh, elements that can be really designed by the user themselves uh, for example this is a fantastic place in san sebastian spain again uh, it is a square designed by Luis Peña Ganchegui with the work of the artist Eduardo Chilida that designed this sculpture that are called the Peine del Viento and this is called Plaza del Tennis. We are in 1975 and uh, the architect designed this uh, square in front of uh, the ocean with these holes that permit the waves that are continually moving uh, in this uh, ocean to enter from uh, uh, the bottom and then to create this sort of geyser um, that create really a relation between a person and nature. And uh, kids are there playing, but there was also adults. Uh, you never know what is happening because sometimes the waves are small sometimes as in this case that's very quite big let's say so uh, there is a, a sort of playground that is completely that is con continuously um, changing and uh, you can see that uh, you never expect to, to be in a way every every day every hour every minute uh, uh, this place is giving um, some new rules of play, some new uh, boundary, uh, some new hypothesis of uh, user. And that, that is something interesting when we are designing uh, architecture. So when we are designing the space, we have to create this unexpected uh, relation, uh, but we have to know the place in which we, we are designing. So what uh, I suggest, but uh, is something that we, we, we do, normally is to walk and explore the space um, that that uh, are famous uh, uh, works uh, around the uh, history um, during the, the the pandemic uh, we were uh, um, obliged to be at our home and we cannot move so much so I remember that I started to collect on the on my Instagram uh, picture of uh, famous working and famous uh, um, books about uh, working uh, to, to, to give uh, um, I don't know some ideas of the importance of working to, de to, to design the space or to, to, to um, understand the space to explore it and then to, to, to design it uh, these are um, Every, every of these pictures is quite famous, no? the, the, the first uh, uh, woman to run the, the marathon, uh, Philippe Petit that he was uh, um, working between the Twin Towers, Werner Herzer that was uh, uh, working from Munich to Paris, uh, the Sema uh, marches of Martin Luther King and the fantastic work of Marina Abramovich and Dulai that uh, was working from uh, the two uh, different uh, uh, extreme point of the of the Great Wall in China, and then they meet together in the middle after 2,500 kilometers. And some books that really get uh, gives sense of what we are doing as architect. We are exploring the, 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 the world and we are modifying it, but uh, we have to know it. And uh, what is 
the best. It's the best is working with our body to 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 discover it, discover the unexpected, design another possible unexpected. Um, as designers, so we have to create the unexpected, define a field in which this unexpected can be created. We have to know the place, and we have to take care about the, the, the action of the people within the cities, for example. This uh, is the first manifestation uh, during the pandemic uh, uh, period. It was the uh, 80, 18th of uh, April or 19th of 2020. We were in Tel Aviv and the person that was uh, uh, protesting against the government uh, defined a field of possibility putting these uh, um, drawings on the, on the pavement that was uh, one or two meter, uh, uh, it's, it was a sort of grid of uh, one meter or two meters in order to people to put uh, exactly in this place and to give to, to have the right distance between person during the uh, pandemic. This is the importance of the, the of the public spaces. Also during the pandemic, uh, we were uh, um, it was necessary to to start uh, to protest because the public space of the city is not only a place in which we can stay, we can work, uh, we can stay well, let's say, but uh, it's place also of uh, the manifestation of the protest um, and this we can and, and so we have to take care as designer also of this unexpected uh, sometimes the, the, the public space is used for let's say a negative mood but at critical uh, action and we have to give person this uh, possibility uh, during the pandemic was a fantastic the use of the public space and the invention of the use of public space here in Rome, in San Lorenzo Square, um, students from university uh, place some uh, uh, tables and chairs and use the public space as a classroom to study, uh, to read, to, to, to meet uh, other students. Um, this was completely undesigned. It, it was not designed by uh, the, the architect who designed the, the square, but the, the, the the fact that uh, we are uh, creating spaces that are rich, uh, that can host the complexity, means that we can also uh, define something that uh, was not designed, but that can be host uh, in, in the space. And it is important that we um, maintain the possibility to, to have not only the positive uh, uh, elements of the city, but also let's say that the, the the negative, and was that was uh, fantastic when we we saw this uh, uh, movie Belfast from Kenneth Branagh. Uh, it was a very recent uh, movie in which you can really see that uh, the street was the public space of this uh, neighborhood in which uh, yeah there was car but very very few cars that are moving very very uh, slow in the city but uh, kids uh, person uh, elder uh, families was uh, using the space in, in different ways so the street was not only the the place in which car can, could move but uh, uh, was also the place of as a playground was the place in of gathering of meeting of staying of uh, uh, talking uh, each other but uh, in a moment in a very uh, important part of the of the movie we discovered that the the, the public space um, is also the, the the space in which uh, we can manifest our um, problems um, the, the so in which we can really have a sort of conflict between a person that is important this is this scene is fantastic i, I show you it's quite brief also this Thank you. 
itself. If you had time, it's so much. Okay, this was uh, one of the most powerful scene of, of the entire uh, movie, but this is the place uh, that uh, um, we have to design. This is the 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 the, 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 the space uh, within the cities, for example, that we have to to design, um, giving the possibility of uh, uh, expression. This is a violent expression, probably not is not. Uh, we cannot tolerate this kind of action for sure but so we have to think that uh, we cannot really uh, design everything so we have to give a sort of uh, scenarios and scene that can be used from different kind of uh, person uh, but if we have to design uh, space uh, a city probably we have to design the entire plans no uh, and Rida Vitturo was asking what is the use of a house if you haven't got a tolerable planning to put it on so we have to design the plan and how we can do it probably mixing the outside and the inside uh, so I show you some some work of Joe Ponte um, that during the 30s 32 36 uh, designed this Mediterranean villain in which as you can see there is this flow of uh, uh, interior and exterior no? from the most most private uh, element of a house to the most public uh, to, to the uh, public space of the house that is uh, the, the garden and then the landscape um, and they are a, a series of different villas with these uh, um, common elements that is uh, these uh, um, gradient of, uh, of publicness of the space between the more intimate and the most public uh, as you can see the landscape uh, the outside landscape is entering the house um, and the interior of the house is uh, going outside to the landscape and that is an element that we try always to, to, to use when we design some some building and uh, some uh, spaces this element permits also multiple views and uh, in the final work of uh, Gioponti this is Villa Blanchard in Caracas uh, in the 50s uh, you can see that also the interior with this line these are uh, sort of uh, uh, line that are uh, sightseeing uh, 
so you can see from this point to this point and so on you can have this multiple view that really permits a uh, huge complexity within a house and the entering of the panorama uh, within the house and uh, so the, the uh, opening of the uh, private to the uh, to the public so that was a, a long introduction but it was uh, you know necessary to try to to, to to, to give a frame to, to, to our uh, work. It, it's only a few things that, that were interesting for us. There are many more for sure, but uh, in this case, it was, uh, was something that were, uh, I had the pleasure not to, me, to, to show you. Uh, I will show now you some works that we made, starting from this project that was one of the last, um, and it is a project that is very complex, uh, and it is quite uh, uh, large, let's say, um, because uh, started uh, three years ago uh, when we won a call uh, by Triennale Milano and the uh, uh, Municipality of Milan uh, that they were asking for to some researcher to, to, to uh, make some research uh, investigation about uh, um, urban uh, um, studies, urban facts. So we proposed to, uh, to study the public space of uh, Milan. But uh, this uh, investigation was enlarging. Uh, these are the, the, the final publication final book but uh, it was largely in other investigation for this for this reason i'm telling you that it was a sort of large uh, research because uh, we um, try to work in other environment and in other cities and uh, uh, comparing public spaces of different uh, uh, cities try to to find relation uh, between uh, different kind of uh, uh, spaces also in uh, other continents and uh, uh, other nation uh, so th that is a second part of the of the investigation that will be published this year so we um, we receive now the um, a call by the, the municipality that was asking us to, to to publish the second resource so we will have another book this year but we made a research uh, uh, between uh, the public space uh, um, of Rotterdam and Milan, a, com a comparison. Uh, we have been funded by the creative industries, uh, uh, the, by the Dutch creative industry, to uh, try to check out the public space was uh, used during the, the, the pandemic. And we create a um, workshop and course, uh, academic course, uh, in uh, other continent, in China and in uh, uh, Central America, so in uh, in Europe, to investigate the public space uh, of uh, very different uh, uh, cities, such as uh, Shanghai, such as Rotterdam, such, such as Tegucigalpa, that is the, the capital city of uh, uh, Honduras. We uh, investigated the public space of uh, Milan because we were uh, thinking that uh, in a city of Milan, uh, where the private uh, um, was changing a lot the the city with very rich uh, urban development the public space was of the city was a bit neglected we were in uh, in, 20, uh, in uh, 2019 so just a few months before the pandemic uh, but when the, the the pandemic was rising and everything was blocked we discovered the importance of the importance of the public uh, space uh, so we propose uh, to analyze the public space of Milan uh, and proposing then some strategies for the public space of Milan to give more quality to the public space. Uh, but we discovered that no one's known nothing about public space in Milan, not even the, the municipality. Uh, what does it mean? Uh, it means that uh, if we ask to the municipality, okay, give us some data about the squares in Milan, how many squares there are in Milan, no one's knew. No one's knew. Uh, now they knew because <laughs> we made a map. Uh, we we asked some map for the green spaces of Milan, and we discovered that the green spaces mapped. So there is a map of the green spaces, but only under the point of view of the maintenance. Um, so not about the fruitability and the usability of the of the 
persons. So we made another map. We tried to discover all the uh, the, the, the blue spaces of Milan because Milan is a water city, uh, above all underneath, but there are also rivers, canals, uh, and small uh, lakes, let's say, basin of water. Uh, we discovered the real excellence of the of the public space of Milan in the parterres that are um, green uh, streets, green road within the city. Um, and we try to, to visualize also uh, the cycle lanes and the, and the street. We mapped every single element that you see. So every 336 uh, square, every parks, every garden, every blue space, every parterre. Um, and that is the public space of uh, Milan. That is more or less one third of the of the territory of Milan. Uh, the square that are the most important elements, let's say, most recognizable, is quite small. Uh, the mo most uh, uh, important part in terms of quantity are the, the street and the, the green. Um, but then there is also water and part of the second line. The books uh, it's divided in. Uh, um, section. There are these six layers of uh, uh, investigation in which we define a map, uh, um, uh, register for all the, uh, the elements, a catalog of uh, uh, every single square, so every single street, every single uh, park. Um, we try to make a brief history of the, the public space, um, of this element of the public space, a comparison with other uh, cities and then uh, strategies. So I will go quite fast. That is the, the layer of the uh, of the square. We discovered that there are 336 square, but half of them are used from are used only by uh, cars. So they are uh, um, crossing uh, point, um, roundabouts, or parking. So half of the square of Milan are not usable by person. Uh, the uh, let's say classic uh, square are not so common in in Milan. So only the 12% of Milan are the classical, no, the Italian square that you know very well in Rome uh, or in Florence, for example. In Milan, they are not so common, but they are. There is this uh, very interesting uh, kind of square that are the green square, uh, in which the square uh, ever within uh, it. Uh, um, gardens uh, it's very let's say anglo-saxon um, way of design the city uh, the common uh, the english common are these uh, small green uh, square uh, we mm, try to make a, a sort of offset for each square uh, a circle of uh, 500 uh, meters of uh, radius uh, to discover if uh, the the city was covered by this service because the square is a sort of service for the for the city uh, and we discovered that a lot of territory is not covered by the presence of uh, uh, of a square and for sure in the city center there are more but then in the boundary not so much and we discovered that a lot of neighborhood these uh, is not uh, they don't have a single uh, square within uh, their territory um, so we we um, propose strategies to uh, design new square within the the neighborhood that are not covered by this uh, um, uh, the, the, the service of the square and then we propose a, a kind of uh, strategies to create a, a pedestrian grid to link all together the uh, the square um, and then we for every element we propose a very peculiar place in which we 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 make a sort of brief design to give an idea of what can how can we transform the space this is a square in, in milan as you can see is a strange kind of square that is parking uh, street uh, no more. Here there is an abbey that is an important uh, abbey uh, of the 14th centuries. Uh, during the COVID, uh, the parking was uh, um, transformed in a sort of pedestrian part of uh, uh, the city, but we propose to create something that is more usable. So within uh, uh, with the same level, with green, with places in which you, you can stay, with uh, another kind of uh, mobility. We did this for every single uh, layer. This is the green. Uh, we calculate how much 
green we have for nature inhabitants we discovered that for example during the pandemic uh, we had a sort of room of 18 square meter of green for each inhabitant so more than enough to, to, to keep the the pandemic uh, distance um, but we also discovered that uh, if we during the pandemic we could move only uh, 200 meters from the houses uh, that a lot of uh, um, of human territory was not covered by the, the green. And the OMS suggests that at least um, a green spaces should be at 300 meters from, from the house. So uh, here there is a lot of territory that can, is not covered by, by the green. And so we propose strategies for the green uh, and uh, visualization sort of collage of uh, how can we transform, for example, a parking lot uh, in a uh, small oasis uh, of green. Uh, Milan is a, uh, is a city of water, so we, we map all the water. This is the underneath water, but then this is the visible water. Um, starting from the Romans, uh, and from the barbarian, let's say, that uh, founded the city, uh, Leonardo da Vinci, made a sort of a lot of design for for the city and for the for the water of the city uh, and also the, the metropolitan part of the city is completely filled with water and so again we visualize how can we be if we transform the the river of milan that are in this situation in something that is more uh, usable we did also for the parterre that are these uh, green road let's say that are very peculiar of the city of Milan, more peculiar than the square probably, uh, and they can be they, they can work at very different level and scale of the city, uh, at the neighborhood scale, at the urban scale, and also at the metropolitan scale, and they create uh, they can create uh, a, a very different future, an alternative future for the for the city of Milan if we transform them from. Uh, parking, something like this, or uh, autobahn, uh, uh, highways in the, in the cities, in something that is more related with the, the nature and the leisure part. Uh, and so let's say the uh, peaceful walk within the city. Again, the idea of walk, so take away the car and start to walk, is a strong idea when we are designing uh, the, the, the spaces within the city. These are the cycle lanes. As you see, this is a graph of the growth of the cycle lanes in, in Milan. Uh, this is uh, uh, 2019-2020. The pandemic permits to create a, um, a sort of uh, uh, temporary uh, design for uh, for the cycle lanes uh, in Milan. Um, so we we saw a, a very strong growth of of the cycle lanes uh, because uh, we painted. When the municipality painted um, a lot of uh, uh, cycle lanes within the city, permitting people to, to, to move uh, during the pandemic uh, with the bike because the public transport was closed or uh, it's not, it was not possible to be used completely. So again, some strategies uh, for the public space. And again, um, we visualize how we can change completely the streets of Milan that, as you see, are completely filled with uh, um, cars, also the sidewalks. Uh, and if we really take away some cars, we can really imagine another kind of cities. And last, uh, the, the streets that cover the most part of the, the quantity of, the, of Milan. This, this is the growth of the uh, of the city within the, the uh, centuries. As you can see, until the um, 20th century, the city was really, really small. That these are the Spanish walls of the 16th century. So only during the last uh, two century we we grow until uh, this situation. The 80 percent of the, the street in Milan are completely mineral, so there is not uh, there is not a single uh, tree. There is no green. Uh, they are completely. Uh, so we can also uh, think of strategies, to, uh, an ecological strategy and sustainable strategy to change the city of Milan. And uh, we also discovered that uh, the 75%, uh, 80% uh, of 
uh, of the street, uh, almost 90% of the street is completely used by the car for parking, for moving and so on. So for the pedestrian, for the, for the person, uh, we have only 15, 20% for the space of the street. That is completely um, an unbalanced. So what we propose is uh, to have a more balance between the, the different flows of uh, the city. That is uh, the situation in which we can redesign the section of the street to create something that is more usable for the person. We have to think that the public space of the city are used by person, not by car. And so also a street that is quite problematic via Padova uh, can be transformed in something that is more usable for humans and not for vehicles. And so we created these strategies for, for the municipality for the next uh, years. Um, here there are some projects. Uh, we, we try to, to design public spaces uh every time that we also design uh buildings um, so for us uh, uh, they they are always a sort of public spaces so space for everyone that is a first first attempt that is the fume verde the green river um we we were called by the, uh, the municipality of milan uh, and the um, train uh, companies uh, to give a, a strategic vision about the redevelopment of the dismissal rail uh, yards that are around Milan, that are these uh, San Cristoforo, Porta Genova, Porta Romana, it's one million square meters. Uh, together with uh, Stefano Boeri, we propose uh, this uh, green river. So uh, there is this ring of uh, the railway system. It is not a not complete uh, ring. So we propose to use it as a, um, uh, an ecological uh, way uh, to define a new uh, park within uh, uh, the city that can link together all the territorial uh, parks of uh, the metropolitan area of Milan, closing the ring in order to have this uh, ring of green and different kind of mobility. For example, this. So we propose a circle line and a cycle lane uh, and a cycle line, let's say, a cycle lane. Um, so this this space already exists. It's not it's not used because it's a technical space for uh, for the train. So we propose to to use it sometimes enlarging where it's possible. Sometimes stay at the same level of the train. Sometimes going up uh, in the city and create a new kind of movement. Our uh, circular movement within uh, the city. Sometimes the railway system is going up above uh, the city, so six, seven meters above the, the zero level. And uh, so we can create a new panorama within the city. And we have a circle of uh, 30, 40 uh, kilometers that can uh, go around uh, the city and link together a lot of uh, elements and places within uh, the, uh, the city of Milan. Uh, gardens, parks, uh, university, uh, hospitals, um, public uh, uh, dwellings and uh, so on. So this cycle lane, this is a cycle line, uh, it's uh, a new panorama within the city. It's, it's, it's a new unexpected place in which uh, we can give a, a, a pavement, a floor, let's say, and uh, an unexpected panorama to expect the unexpected. So people that are using it for work, for leisure, for sports, uh, for for our work, uh, giving also a, a new kind of relation between the train that is that will be not only a train but it, it will be a sort of metro line and the the, the bike, uh, the car and uh, the, the people. So this is not only greenwashing, let's say, but we try to um, show all the green that is uh, the, there is already in the cities. So this line, as you see, the this railway system already exists. We can really uh, link together parks with other greens, and it can be a new sort of linear park within uh, the city. With, uh, as you can see, different kind of section uh, in different parts of the of the city. That is the new ring that connects park uh, that create a new metro line, circular metro line uh, in the city. 
and that create also a new circular uh, cycle path uh, all around the city that can connect also um, metropolitan, regional and national uh, paths, uh, cycle paths in the city. This was one of the uh, last work that we made. We, together with Atelier Bauau, that is a Japanese uh, firm uh, that are fantastic uh, architects, we design uh, the new European Library for Milan. It is a competition. Uh, there is a, a park in Milan that is he, this, that already exists, Parco Marina d'Italia, a new park here that was opening a few days ago. And in this place, uh, uh, the municipality of Milan asked to design the new uh, library of Milan. So we decided to create a sort of uh, landscape and a green panorama that permits really to, to have a green uh, that was covering all these part of the city of Milan. This is the, the, the first park, this is the new park, and this is the place of the, uh, of the new bank, uh, the new uh, library. And then uh, the green continues there until the, the exterior part of the of the city so we decided to create um, a new um, green element a new green uh, floor and pavement that can really uh, use all the part that already exists as green so we don't uh, uh, we we, we give the same quantity of uh, surface that we are using as a, a real uh, green park so uh, from this new park we can go up to the roof of the of the new uh, building they can host a, a green part and that was the uh, the building that was nothing more than a sort of infrastructure for green and yes for the spaces of uh, the library so you you can go up walking again walking exploring uh giving different possibility than unexpected possibility to to person and then you could uh, enter uh, going down uh, going uh, um, ahead of the green inside uh, we created this uh, uh, promenade that was open for, for the public so you can enter freely and uh, stay in these places that contains the most public part of, uh, of the library with this uh, big void that permits to go up to the uh, second and third floor in which there was the space the proper space of the of the library this is the first uh, uh, part the first floor in which uh, there was this uh, media tech in which there was not only the books but also uh, music and uh, video games and so on and then the last floor in which uh, there was the, the, the there was the book um, that uh, uh, host the, the the most uh, uh, let's say proper part of of uh, the library uh, and uh, in which we can start to see the garden that is uh, above so with the engineer we we decided to use this um, structure that can really create a topography over the uh, over the, the roof. Uh, that was something that we we were copying, let's say, from uh, the opera house in Sydney, Sydney by Hudson, that created this system of beams that uh, can be filled with uh, uh, soil to, to to create a new uh, ground for uh, for uh, the garden. Uh, but that was also a reference of the Milan is a very minor Milan is part this is the BBPR um, building uh, that have these beams that create this uh, part for the for the soil for a new uh, garden and that that uh, that are some those are some sections of the building as you can see this is the roof that was mentioning filled with soil to permit to have a real a garden and here there was the archive the mechanical archive of the of uh, the library with the public station of the train here underground so there was also a relation between these two parts and a new public square a reading garden here that was creating this relation with uh, green so as you can see we designed the green and the landscape more uh, than the building so the building is open we, we don't have uh, an outside and an inside but everything is flowing between outside and inside 
That was also the, the idea of this uh, school in Murano, in which we, we won the second prize for one vote. <laughs> um, we, we create this uh, um, German and Italian uh, school uh, over a wine, wine yard. Um, so we decided to put all the, the um, buildings in this uh, part of the uh, of the site to open up here to have a new public uh, square. That is the, the final uh, maquette. We like very much to, to, to use uh, the maquette. Uh, this was made by stone, by a local stone uh, and uh, wood. And it was giving the idea of having the same floor, so the same stone, and not only for the public space of the city, the open public space, but also for uh, the public space of the school that was inside. And that is the final result. So uh, a public square here that is it was flowing between the, the, the garden and the hall, uh, the central hall of the of the school. And these two buildings was then the, the classroom. It is the idea. Uh, we decided to, to plant there apple trees. That was very typical of the of the zone. With some uh, trees that already existed that are uh, that have centuries of history uh, there. And uh, as you see, the flow between interior and exterior, the same floor here with a different texture, but it, it is the same stone uh, and very open to the outside in order to permit this uh, exchange between exterior and exterior. So you, you don't really know when the interior ends and the exterior starts or vice versa. Also, some laboratory on uh, on the ground floor were, were open to the outside in order to have this merging between these uh, elements. Uh, also, the um, the part of the classroom uh, was really open with big uh, uh, glass uh, wall uh, with uh, a flow between also the corridor or the distribution part and uh, and the classroom in order to have again sort of unexpected the action of uh, students within uh, this field that, that are the, uh, the buildings. So this is a, a plan in which you can see the new public square. This is the hall, so the ground floor. So public square, public hall, all together. This, this was a library. These are some laboratories. And then the first floor with this big terrace and uh, the, the, the second floor in which you can see that the, the, the classroom uh, was open, uh, openable between a classroom, but also with the corridor. So the, the, the spaces are really mixing all together uh, to permit different kind of configuration of classroom uh, with students and professor. Uh, another um, library that we designed for competition which we, we get an honorable mention we won an honorable mention uh, it was in korea uh, in which again we did, did decided to design an infrastructure uh, a landscape infrastructure in which the building doesn't exist real but it is only a sort of structure but we created this new panorama for, of ears that also continues in the interior hosting uh, for example here the the archive of the building but also some um, auditorium uh, hall some uh, rooms and the library is no more than a, landscape, a green landscape uh, that flows between the existing landscape uh, the, the, the 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 new landscape and the interior landscape that it is not a in real interior, it's something in between interior and exterior. Again, with flows that go from one side to another, from above down or from uh, here, from the ground floor to, uh, to the upper part. Um, so also the ground floor is hosting water, stone, green and then going up you can see that the, the, the landscape is uh, developing as a sort of natural landscape 
Uh, so the, this is the existing situation. We decide to, to design a landscape, first of all, to create a new square uh, for, the, for the development that will be in the future here, and then uh, to close this uh, landscape with uh, a structure that can permit to, to, to have a different climate uh, condition. We make a, a diagram of the history of libraries during the, the centuries uh, in which we try to understand where the, the book were places and where was the places of the reading uh, part uh, when the green entered for the first time in the, in the library and then we try to make another kind of configuration of our uh, library again we like to make some maquette and that is some results of the market. These, as you see, again, the, um, the drawings um, shows that uh, what, what we care a lot about is not to define boundaries, but to permit flexibility and uh, unexpected use of the, of the space and the configuration. So the configuration of our spaces try uh, to mix together function, action, condition, uh, opening, uh, in order to never close, but always to open up. These, these are the, the different floors of the, of the library. So uh, I think that I can finish there because I think uh, we, it's, it's already one hour of, uh, of lecture, but uh, tell me, I have another couple of projects, but I don't know. Probably you are already much bored. If you want to continue, I think it's really, really interesting. So we can also continue for what do you think? Or do you need a pause? What do you think? I'm sorry, Diego. You know how it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I, I know very well. For this reason, I'm stopping because I know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You are okay. stop here. And maybe you can ask some questions to Diego. Yeah. For First sure. of all, thank, thank you very, very much. much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. I really enjoyed your your presentation. Thank you so much. It's uh, I don't want to comment too much because I will uh, uh, explore some of some of your themes and topics in my next lecture. So it it was really I, I was very happy because we are uh, in a in a, we are investigating the same topics in my course. So. Thank you again for being here with us and uh, for showing us your work. And I, I leave the, the, the table to my students if they want to ask you something. They are students that they, they come from all over the world. Uh, it's the first time for me that I have a, a class. So, um, so international. exactly international. So. Uh, maybe they don't know Milan, and I hope because it was really interesting to to see how they worked on their own city, and uh, I think it's a, it's a way you can use even for your own cities, of course. You can compare. Do you want to have something? Even on the first part of the lecture, for example, I, I, I think that the questions and uh, also the examples in art and in movies uh, Diego shows us, showed us was, were very clear. Uh, the intention of their, the aim of their uh, design is, was very well clarified by the introduction of the lecture. What do you think? <laughs> I, I know they are shy. They are shy. I know. I know. Yeah, they are always the beginning. And sometimes, after a few minutes, they they start. 
<laughs> what do you think? For example, one, one thing that I really enjoy is also that I I find their way, their approach very joyful. I don't want to speak too much. <laughs> <laughs> That, that that is a that is a good uh, comment because uh, yeah uh, we I remember that a few years ago we made a uh, a lecture about joy uh, and uh, and play in uh, in architecture and uh, um, we 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 had a son uh, at that time uh, really recent and we designed the. Uh, some uh, puppets for him uh, and uh, the, the bed uh, for him uh, and also i show this uh, attempt to, to to construct things about uh, and, and we had the, we have this attitude to uh, yeah to architecture is joy no also when i, I show you some negative uh, uh, element of architecture such as the the, 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 the public demonstration or the the, the fight uh, within the public space but also in this case is, is our life so our life uh, is we should be be, be, be joyful no because uh, it's our attitude as architect because we cannot design with negative mood uh, our our work is always uh, um, positive uh, point of view uh, <laughs> towards the the future so we are designing the future and we cannot imagine a negative future we can only imagine something positive so in a way maybe this is the the uh, the, the way in which you can see our uh, our work but i suppose that it's for every architect every designer uh, but for sure for us it's like this yeah of course, we are asking in the class sometimes what is architecture today is, is a very difficult question to answer. But for example, this this could be one answer. I mean, in such a negative, uh, chaotic and difficult uh, situation we live in with the war here uh, very close and with all the problems we have with climate and I mean, this, this approach, maybe architecture is, could, could also be a, an instrument to bring joy in our cities. We don't have to, <laughs> to forget how important this aspect is, no? In our grey cities and uh, spaces for freedom, also for conflict, because conflict is so important in our society. We don't have space for conflict now conflict are all on facebook and instagram and on social media for example and it's so it was so important to have conflict in the streets in the 19th century in the 20th century sorry uh, the, the the great change in society uh, started with with uh, contestation in the streets Contestations. Okay. Sometimes I have some laughs in English, of course. And now we just uh, fight on the social media, but we don't have a public space for fighting. Not so easy to find it. Yes, today we are we are seeing, for example, in Paris there are a lot of movement. Yes, yes, but it's always. Uh, the contrast between the city and the people who fight for something. It's there, there is no such a place that can like uh, uh, talk about another way to discuss about things, for example. It's, it's only destroying the city. The only language we know, it's incredible. We are in 2023. And still, the only language we know to protest is destroying everything. Maybe architecture could, could also think about some other places more, uh, more open to discussion and to conflict also. But what would, what, what would a public space need to provide that possibility? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> That's a good question. For example, I imagine in a, in a 
in a in a space. Uh, for example, the spaces Diego shows us. Uh, if I imagine something uh, unexpected, as he told us, uh, happening in this kind of spaces, is that of a street with cars and uh, buildings are all grey and maybe something would change. I don't know. I don't know if, if it was clear, but I, I have this vision of another possible reality uh, without so many uh, cars and, uh, and uh, maybe more green, more uh, many trees and, and maybe something would change in our way of living in our cities. Also, when we have to protest, if we are in, in a different environment, maybe our way of protesting will change. I don't know. It's always me that Pablo so Victor. Do you have questions? Maybe also. Hi Diego, I'm here. Maybe also the idea, I was reflecting out loud, maybe also the idea of um, undesign uh, in a sense that um, the flexibility, the, the public space needs maybe somehow also an uh, undesigned vision because you told, you told about the uh, unexpected design, but also a very um deep an analysis of the context uh, in order maybe to, uh, to have a, a larger kind of, of flexibility of this kind of spaces uh, also the relationship into the buildings that you show as you you design between the functions required and also a free space that can welcome different kind of activities uh, so also the idea of not to design and so yeah. everything in order to let people have this kind of um, freedom to also conquer the space somehow and uh, uh, make different functions or activity happens. Um, maybe what is the balance uh, in your opinion between the uh, design and undesign uh, and also the importance of deepen the context, uh, focus on the context uh, to have maybe more flexibility in the design space? Well, um, there is not a, a formula, let's say, uh, for sure, but uh, this is a, a strong uh, sense of responsibility for the, for the architects because uh, the undesign is not uh, not design. Uh, let's say that we are, we are designing something that uh, should uh, multiply the possibility of use. Uh, um, sometimes we, we saw uh, many projects that uh, limit the possibility of use, um, also in the public space of city, but also within uh, buildings, uh, also in, uh, in very small uh, residential settlements. So um, what uh, we should try to, 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 to design is a field that uh, can really host complexity uh, within uh, it. So, um what we can try is uh, uh to uh, catch from uh, the existing environment some features that probably can really help us in design for example in the school in Merano we we decided to use the nature itself that already existed there to create uh, a mixing between uh, the public uh, urban mineral and the nature so the more green um, so the environment help us in develop a feature uh, but then uh, the fact that we decided to not close within uh, the school campus let's say the the, the space permits to open uh, the, the the school to the to, to the inhabitants so the city can really use uh, the the space of the school and the school is really part of the uh, of the city so uh, we could uh, uh, close it uh, but we decided not to close, but to create a public uh, uh, square. In this sense, uh, I'm telling that uh, uh, if I closed 
within a function, I quite, I'm quite sure that uh, the space will be used by this function. So for example, school. If I open it, I, I, I expect that uh, someone, an inhabitant, a kid, uh, a group of uh, teenagers, uh, an elder, a group of elder, will use the space in a way in which uh, I didn't think about it, but uh, it's okay. So if someone uh, come there with a table and some cards, uh, it's fantastic. So in this sense, uh, the, the possibility, the, the, the openness of the spaces uh, permits people to use it and to design a different kind of uh, uh, use. In this sense, uh, the balance is uh, something that is a part of the project. So sometimes uh, uh, it's, it's well uh, balanced uh, between uh, open and close. Sometimes we have to close more, sometimes we, we can open more. So there is not uh, an exact uh, uh, balance, but uh, it's always a, a test in which we try to give more possibilities. Thank you. Yes. Do you think there will be a lot of uh, the, uh, do you think there will be an increase of zone and and uh, something like we already seen and uh, super illness in Barcelona or sorry something? there is uh, I don't understand the the, the first uh, thing sir there is a do you think there will be an increase of the zona trenta like uh, ah, zona trenta, okay yeah yeah well this is this is um that, uh, you you know that zona trenta is uh, is a uh, is a place in the city in which cars can go uh, not more than 30 kilometers per hour uh, the city of milan is going to be uh, a, a 30 uh, city uh, um, the next year probably probably everywhere um, this uh, it's a fantastic uh, uh, possibility to really change the public space of, uh, of the city for me the zona 30 is uh, is the future of the city but not zona 30 probably the zona 15 or uh, or uh, 10. Uh, we have to think uh, uh, that when we are using the public space of the city as i show you normally we have the no 10, 15 percent of the space that is for, for people. So imagine to, to, that you are a kid and you want to play outside. Uh, for us, it's quite strange. So in a city of like Milan, but also Rome, uh, to think that the street is a public space in which people can live and can and that, that can use. Um, in an Italian way of view, that is, uh, uh, let's say, also an international way of view, uh, the, the street is the, the, the place for the car, for the, the for the vehicular mechanism. Um, this is not correct. Uh, this is a situation that was given, but is not uh, a situation that exists uh, for, 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 for millennia, no? for centuries. It is something that we invented uh, less than one century ago the city was constructed for for, for people the city are a uh, uh, um, place in which a community found themselves together live together move together but move uh, in different kind of ways so uh, not only cars the car exists since uh, the, the the 50s in italy you know so uh, it's less than a century ago that we transformed the city uh, under the point of view of the cars so uh if uh, zona 30 so the city of 30 uh, means uh, something in, it means that we redesign the public space of the city to host again public action for person for bike uh, for scooters uh, for electrical uh, vehicle uh, for the logistic uh, uh, way also cars so we we don't have to ban the car uh, we have all, only to rebalance uh, the the space of the city in order to not be car centric but person centric uh, the, the the first uh, images that i show you are uh, uh, just a position of action human action within a field that is the the the, the, the background of our city the, the, our city has a background the, the public space uh, that is the structure of the city that should be used by the person not by the car the car are part of the, the, the general use, but it cannot be 90% movement of cars 
and uh, 10 percent movement of person it should be something different 90 percent movement of person the car really slow because if uh, my son is uh, is working in the street uh, i don't want the some cars uh, going uh, for, for it. but uh, i i like that he goes to school uh, alone walking uh, going by uh, um by my bike uh, and so on so we have to redesign the public space in this sense so it's not a problem of velocity the speed uh, within the city 30 per 30 kilometers per hour is too much probably 15 kilometers per hour is it's something uh, good thank you other questions or we say goodbye to Diego. Okay, I think I think it's enough. Thank you so much, Diego. Really, it has been thank really you. a pleasure, and uh, thank you for for being with us today. Thank you very much. It has been a real pleasure. Thank you very much, Diego. Thank you again. Thank you. Bye bye. 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 Ciao. Ciao. Okay, we, we also have the record of the...